welcome to a tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Xcode right here in the dock, and you will learn how to make a really simple app, which is the simplest one for programmers is Xcode. Or Xcode is the IDE, and we're going to create a Hello World app where you click the button like this, and it will say Hello World. A label will say that. So we're going to open Xcode. If you don't have Xcode, let's go to the App Store and you can download it. Find it, search, and you search Xcode. Xcode right here. And we'll, since I have it installed, it says open, which means you want to open it. <clears throat> but if you want it, you need to install. So if you haven't had it installed, it will say install instead of open. If you have, if it says open, then you already have it installed. So if you haven't do have downloaded it yet, download it now. So we're gonna close the App Store and we're gonna go to Xcode. And when you open Xcode, you will be taken to the screen. My version is 6.1, and I have Yosemite right now. If you want to see which version you have, you click, go to the Apple, and you would say about this Mac. And a screen would pop up, and it would tell you which version you have. I have OS X Yosemite, and I have 10.10.1. So, this is a very new computer. It is only like a few, it's only a year old. <clears throat> and so we're going to click on create a new Xcode project. So we're going to click on it. And we're going to be taken to the screen. It will tell you to choose, an app, to choose a template. Well, you could choose empty, but that would have no files, absolutely. So we're going to choose single view application next. And we're going to say, we're going to call this. Hello world. And since my name is Je Jeffrey Huang, I'll call it Jeffrey Huang. So it's going to say com.jeffrey Huang and it's called Hello World. The language is Objective C and the device is iPhone. So we're going to click next and you can save it. So when you have an app, you'll be you when you start a new Xcode project, this is a screen. It'll look like this. Depends on the template, but this is the single view application. So you got a file called Hello World, and inside there's appdelegate.h.m, viewcontroller.h, viewcontroller.m, main.storyboard. Images.xcasets, launch screen.xib, supporting files, main.m, info.plist, a lot of files. So, what we're going to be focusing, focusing on for now is viewcontroller.h, viewcontroller.m, and main.storyboard. And so, .h stands for header, and .m stands for implementation. So, header is to declare all the variables, and .m is to say oh you're gonna tell the the app to say oh I wanna do this or oh I wanna do this so the dot m is gonna change what the user sees or the interface the user interface so what we're gonna go right now is we're gonna create we're gonna make this view controller smaller it doesn't look like an iPhone screen does it so we're gonna De deselect use size classes and it'll take you to here and it says disable size classes disable si size classes will limit this document to storing data for a single device family the data for the size class best representing the target device will be retained and all other data will be removed in addition SIGs will be converted to their non-adapted equivalent keep si cla size class data for iPhone which is what we want and we'll click on disable size classes and now it's the size of an iPhone screen. So what we want right now is we're gonna this is gonna be the home screen, the main menu. And we're gonna say Jeff Jeff Hello 
world. We're going to make it nice and big, nice and wide, and so that the user can, is very noticeable. We're going to center align the text, and we're going to set it much bigger. So, if you want it to look better, you can change the background color. So, we'll change it to blue, and this is the color right now. And we're going to have a button that says next to go to the screen. Next. And so that the screen is blue, then this is also blue, so you can't really see it, so you have to change the text color. Well, we'll do red, because red is the opposite of blue. And so now you, the button is visible. If you want the screen, if you want another screen, you need to drag on another view controller. So we're going to drag one on, and we see this error popping on. It says, scene is unreachable due to a lack of entry points and does not have an identifier to run to its via and test a view controller with identifier. So that means you can't, this view controller is unreachable. There's no way you can reach it. So <clears throat> what we want now is we're going to click on this button and we're going to go to the connection inspector. And we're going to, under action, you're going to click and drag. And we're going to drag onto the other view controller until it was highlighted and let go. And we'll be to this menu will show up and we're going to select modal. So now there's no errors because now if you click on this button, it will go onto the view controller right here. So now we want to start writing some code. <clears throat> but if you want something, this file already has code for the view controller so we, we're gonna have to create new files so we're gonna go to file new file or you can press command on your keyboard so you'll be taken to this screen so we're gonna under iOS source we're gonna say coca touch class and we're gonna click next and we'll call this hello world because this is a screen that's supposed to say hello world so we're going to deselect also create XIV file, and we're going to select the language of Objective-C. We're going to click Next, and we'll be, cho we'll be persuaded to save it somewhere. So we're going to just save it in this file called Hello World. We click Create, and now it's here. But if you want the view controller to display something, you need to link it up. So we're going to go to this, like, Identity Inspector, and under Class, we're going to say, Hello, we're going to select Hello World. So this is a Hello World view controller. So now we're in this screen, we're going to say that there's going to be a label that says nothing. And we're going to put it in the middle. We're going to make it nice and big. nice and wide and we're going to central align the text and make the text much bigger and we're going to set the background to be red so we're going to have a button that says press for a surprise and so we're going to center align it, and this is all we need for now. But if they want to go back, we need a button to make sure they can go back. So we're going to say back to menu. And we're going to set the action to go here. As usual, moto. And so now we have to let something happen when... You press this, and here the. So whenever you press this button, this this text will change to "Hello World." So we're gonna go to "Hello World." H, and since we want the text to change in the label, we're gonna have to declare. We're gonna have to give the label a name. So we're gonna put "Open Curly Braces." It should put in the clothing one for you, but if you don't have have it, do it right now. So fit. IB outlet 
right here. UI label, since that's a label. And we're going to call this label. And we're going to put semicolon. Semi a semicolon in Objective C is basically like a period in real life. So if you don't put a semicolon, so let's say I delete it, an error will pop up right here. It says expected the semicolon at end of declaration list. So you have to put a semicolon. If you put do, this error will go away. <coughs> and since we want something to happen when you press a button, we're going to have to declare an IB action. So an action when the button is pressed. So we're going to say hyphen open parentheses IB action. And we see this autofill come in. And we're going to press enter because this is the one we want, and we'll call this button. And, and semicolon. <clears throat> so we're going to go back and we're going to say, and since you declared it in viewcontroller.h, you have to declare it in viewcontroller.n. So here it says, in the error, it says, method de definition for button not found. So we have to <coughs> declare it under void did receive memory warning. So we're going to say, and we're going to say button. And so we're going to put open brackets. And so what's going to happen when you press on the button? It's going to be, the code inside is going to be executed. So we'll say, under here, we're going to, under void view did load, so when the view loads, we're going to say label dot text, which is the text inside the label. We're going to say equals at, or you're going to, you can do brackets, and you're going to add a string, which is a way of doing strings in Objective C. String with format, we're going to say at, quotation marks, and we're going to say nothing here like we did. And when the button is pressed, we want to say hello world. So we're going to say label dot dot text equals ns string string with format at and we're going to say hello world. So now we're almost ready to run, but there's still one thing we need to do. So the last thing we need to do is we're going to link up the label and the button. So we're going to say under new referencing outlet, we're going to go into the circle and it will have a plus. We click and drag onto the screen until it's highlighted blue and we're going to say label. And here we're going to go to touch up inside because we want it to be touch up inside and we're going to drag it onto the screen as usual and we're going to select button. So now we got everything linked up. So let's take a little peek at what our app does. So we're going to run it in the simulator and busy compiling and so the simulator is going to launch and so it's going to show up, launch screen and we're going to click on next. And it it comes here, so we're going to press the button that says, press here so for a surprise. And it says, hello world, as we expected. So, our app is good, and it's not too bad. So, we got what we wanted, so if you press the button, it will say, hello world. But, what if you don't want it to display hello world all the time? Like, you want it to go back to saying nothing here. <coughs> then we'll need another button. And another IB action, and we'll say press here to. And we're gonna go to hello world.h. We're gonna clear another IB action. IB action, we'll call this button two. And we're gonna put our semicolon. And we're gonna go to viewcontrol.m or hello world.m. We're going to declare it, and it's going to say button 2, oops, the little wrong one, and yeah. So we put our curly braces, and we're going to say label.txt, as usual, in brackets, 
and that's spring, spring, spring format, and add quotation marks to represent a string or some 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 text. We're gonna say go back to nothing here, and so we're gonna run it, and so well we forgot one thing. And we need to link this stuff up. If you don't forget, if you always, if you forget to link some stuff up, then something's gonna go wrong. So we're gonna say go click next. We're gonna say press here to surprise. Press here to. It keeps on going back and forth. So if you keep on pressing, its possibilities are unlimited. So. Thank you for watching this video, and we're going to do a quick recap. So, when you start an app in Xcode, you will go to File, New, Project, if you already have Xcode open. Or, if on the welcome screen, it will give you a selection. You can open an existing project, select a new project, or a playground. So, in this, in this you learned how to make a really simple Hello World app. And you create another view controller, and so one, one is the one that says hello. That the one the hell the hello world one, and this one's the menu. So, <clears throat> so we learned a lot in this course, and we learned how to do some coding, as usual, from here to here. That's what we did, and here it's actually not too bad coding and so this is and you learn how to link this stuff up and you have this label you can you know now you know how to change the text inside a label so thank you for watching this video and you could hit subscribe and see you next time